give a one-star review to Mother Nature? Well, it turns out a lot of people do. So today on CityCast Las Vegas, I am quizzing our two lovely co-hosts, David Figler and Sarah Lohman, and they're going to try to guess which natural wonders around Las Vegas these one-star reviews describe. Play along. Let us know how you did. It's Tuesday, January 30th. I'm Sonia Cho Swanson, and here's what Las Vegas is talking about. Sarah, David, welcome to your show, CityCast Las Vegas. Welcome to my show. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to our show, David. Yeah, it's your chance uh, on the big rematch here of the One Star Reviews. I squeaked oh. ahead last time, uh, oh, yeah. Sarah. Will I? Will there be a, a two-peat? I forgot that I lost last time until you just reminded me. So <laughs> Did now you, though? Really? Barely, barely though. I have to it was... get my game face on because I cannot have a that. I let that happen twice. I just assume I'm going to get slaughtered this round. Listen, <laughs> it was a very close match last time. Yeah. And uh, I would like our listeners to know that it is fiercely competitive. So this has a lot of stakes. There's a lot of stakes involved here. Um, <laughs> drinks next time. When dry January is over, the, the loser has to buy the winner drinks. Okay, that's fair. So so here's how it works. Um, I'm going to start reading the one-star review. If you think you know where it is, you're going to buzz in by shouting your own name, okay. um, <laughs> which was what we did last time, and it worked. So we're going to do that again. Ish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, um, yeah, it worked. Are you all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm reading you the first. Oh, and I should just say so we know what the parameters are. These are not all specifically in Nevada, but they are within... Uh, I would say a two to three hour drive of Nevada. So Ooh, they are, I would okay. consider them natural wonders that are easily accessible from Las Vegas. Okay. So not even like the valley, not even the state necessarily, but could be California, could be Arizona, could be New Mexico? No, New Mexico is more. Utah. Uh, I would just say they're all in the Mojave Desert. Okay. Does that feel like a fair... Yeah, it's a good okay. yeah, parameter. That's good. Parameter. Okay, great. All right, first one. Yeah. This is from Gina M. from Los Angeles, who writes, went to blank this past week, and let me tell you, all caps, it's a big old waste of time. There was dirt, all caps, everywhere, and the hiking trail was too long. Also, where are the vending machines? And nowhere to charge my phone. It's way too deep to even see the bottom. The only Sarah. thing. Oh, ding. <laughs> ding. Of course, I started with this just like. Blah, blah. So, <laughs> it confused uh, me. I'm going to guess that that's the Grand Canyon. Ding, ding, ding. Correct. Which rim? Uh, there, Southern rim. There was no rim on this particular review. My mom and I went to the Grand Canyon for her 75th and my 40th birthday, and she Aww. had gotten really into that Instagram account, One Star Reviews. And so I got her the poster for her. Uh, this artist illustrates One Star Reviews, and it just says a big hole, a great <laughs> big hole. One star. There you go. I will never Love forget. It. Was there more to that review, Sonia, or was that pretty much it? There is one line I have to read you that I couldn't read you uh, because it would give too much away for obvious reasons, which you will see now. Uh-huh. Grand Canyon, more like Grand Blandian. Oh, wow. what a stretch. Wow. I know. Not even good. She had the easiest line, Grand Canyon, more like Bland Canyon. Thank, Thank you, David. You. What? So easy. I, I don't trust yes. anything this person will write. This is why we I beat mean, the big bucks. <laughs> clearly, their pun-making ability is what disqualifies this review. So, 100%. Yeah. The next review comes from Mateo M. from Seattle. Not much more than a bunch of rocks and sand. The sand totally ruined a new pair of shoes of mine. The park should reimburse me for my loss since it did not provide warnings. Since it got into parts of the boot from which it cannot be extricated. There's no water anywhere. And if you try to drink water at blank, it tastes like crap and will give you the craps. The the lack of water and hot climate is a real health and safety hazard. And the park is making a real liability for the public by not passing out water bottles. It's crazy. Yeah? Red Rock? Eh. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to keep, keep reading, going. David? Yeah, please keep reading. Okay. So not only was I thirsty the entire time, but a freaking coyote stole my breakfast burrito. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was my last breakfast true. burrito. The rangers should feed the animals more and or give them some obedience training so they won't steal food from travelers. 
This can't be real. <laughs> this can't be real. Oh anyway, not God. a lot to see here unless ugly brown rocks are your thing. Do yourself a favor and skip this place. Ugly brown rocks. Where would they be? Valley of Fire. <gasps> oh, so close. And eh, it's Lake Death Mead. Valley. Oh, Death, Death Valley. Death Valley. Yeah. Mm. They didn't like... Okay, I can't get too mad about this, Sonia. I don't even know them. And I'm glad that that Cody stole their burrito. They sound like they deserve it. <laughs> he In wanted rangers to pass out water bottles and feed well, the animals. Well, I mean, it is Death Valley. I'm not, I'm not going to fault him for that. I think all the rangers should always have water on them. How are you going to not bring water to Death? It has death in the name. How are you not going to bring your own water to Death Valley? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, you're ready for the next one? So now we've got... Yes. Zero, zero for that round. So Sarah is still at one and David is still at zero. All right. Eric H. from Oak Brook, Illinois writes, where the hell is this place? We drove there and around it and it was a parking lot. Are you kidding me? All the pictures described on this website was not seen. It was frustrating. If I could give it a zero star, I would. David. Yes. Rhyolite? <sighs> eh. Oh. Okay, Lake Mead? <gasps> and, oh, gosh. You know, sorry, this is kind of a tricky one because it's vague. Yeah, let's maybe do a second round of guesses here. You want a second round? Okay, second try, David. Go for it. I was going to offer to collaborate, David, and say, oh, okay, no, let's no collaboration. Oh, no, uh, uh, sorry, no collaboration. Only we, tried, competition. we tried the Great British Bake Off and it turned into chopped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you do? I'm the mean guy on Great British Bake Off. I'm I'm Matt, and I'm here to introduce some sass and spice. Mm. Um, so what? Matt's gone, by the way. We this yeah. very nice uh, woman now. I actually really dislike Matt, so I'm kind of glad nobody likes Matt. I know, I know. Right. It's the the joy is returned to the set of Bake yeah. Off. Yeah. Okay. What is a parking lot? Um, it's just a big parking lot, and none of the things. And this is a natural wonder. Can with... you give us one more hint? Like, is it in Nevada? Um. It, this one actually is in Nevada, yes. Giant parking lot in Nevada. And I'm sure many listeners now are like, it's blank, you dum-dums. No, uh, what could I Well, I will be? say this, which is that there is actually quite a lot to see, and it's kind of bewildering that this person only found the parking lot. Like, that <laughs> is actually itself the hilarious part. I mean, David, did they just stop at the Mount Charleston Visitor Center and didn't move on? Ding, that ding, was ding. about to be my guess. <laughs> oh my yes. gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally wow. went to Mount Charleston, only went to the parking lot. It's a beautiful parking lot, though. Yeah, like, no, it's, it's great. Nice and that little amphitheater behind there, it's still. Yeah, lovely yeah. views. Oh. Oh, Clear boy. access to the trails. All right, Dave, we're one and one once again. One we're and one. We're not faking this, by the way. This is, no, we're not. It's always this high stakes. <laughs> yes. You ready for another one? No. Yeah. Yes. Of yes. Course. Okay. Long. This one's a short one, a quickie. Okay. It's mm -hmm. Robert S. from Las Vegas who writes, It's okay. There's just big ass rocks and shit. Yeah, it's okay. Would rather go bowling. Two out of five. I like bowling. <laughs> uh, David. Yes. Since it's close to bowling over at Red Rock, I'm going to say Red Rock. That's correct. Good oh, job. No. <laughs> that the hint was in the review. Uh, yes. And I actually have to confess that this was actually a two out of five star review. But it is funny. One star, Yeah, it was way funnier than the one star reviews, which were just kind of like <laughs> sad and angry. So <laughs> thanks, Robert, for your love of bowling. And for that hint to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. I David have bowled two. It's a good it bowling alley. Yeah. David two, Sarah one, ready for the next one. Jill H. from North Las Vegas says... This is a beautiful park. If only someone could clean the bird crap off the tables and pick mm. up the dog crap all over the place. Beautiful park. Bird Tell crap. us, is, is it in Nevada or not in Nevada? Wait, Sarah. Go ahead, oh, Sarah. Go ahead. Is it the one with the um, the peacocks? Yes. Can you name it in five seconds? <laughs> no, I don't know Just it. say Floyd Lamb. Floyd <laughs> Lamb. <laughs> I don't know the name. I'm too new. No, I, I didn't even know there was peacocks wandering around a park into our Glorious. Hey, Lagos uh, newsletter, which everyone should sign up for. And I was like, I'm sorry, there's the what, the what now? We've just got yeah. loose, feral peacocks wandering around a city park. Yep. They're best. They're Strutting the best. around. Yeah. But it's so funny. The one-star reviews almost, in fact, many of the multi-star reviews for Floyd Lamb State Park almost all mention poop. There's an alarming amount of poop in the Floyd Lamb reviews on Yelp. Mm. 
digression, but I think I mentioned before that I used to work at a zoo. Oh, because oh, yeah. we're talking about tuberculosis. That's right. Uh-huh. Yeah, zoos Ooh. used to have free. Wa- oh God, maybe this is gonna hurt the peacocks. Zoos used to have free wandering peacocks, but they would also like drag TB from one side of the park to another. Oh, so my God. they're, but you know, so they got rid of them because it can like make other birds sick, and it can be like da 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 da. So I was also surprised to find out that we have feral peacocks. But this was back in the late '90s. Maybe things have changed. Attitudes towards free peacocks have changed. Perhaps TB isn't an issue yet there. Not on TB. I, I don't, don't know. know, but it does. It did surprise me. And I do want to go see them. Can I get a half point? <laughs> no, you get the full point. I, I acquiesce. You, you knew David. the place. I just knew the name. That's okay. Great. Okay. All right. So now we're at two and two. Yeah. British. Now we're at two and two. Style. Are you guys ready for the ultimate question? Yeah. Are, yes. Should we do yeah. two more, yeah. or do you guys want to do one more? Just keep going. Let's see what just, happens. Till we oh. run out of time. Till we wear the patience of our listeners. Okay, so here is the last question. This is the tiebreaker question. All uh, right? Um, okay. Here we go. Someone who is titling themselves the Gamer S from San Francisco writes, mm. I can't believe my rotten luck. The family is yelling at me to go on a summer vacation, so I ended up looking for a cheap place to go. I end up finding blank, and after consulting Wikipedia, I ended up thinking it was a good idea. All caps, I was wrong. (laughs) We roll into the park, and as soon as we step out of the car, we were all dying of the heat. All caps, why is it so hot here? I mean, like, seriously, the kids... David. David, go! Joshua Tree National Park. Ding, ding, ding! (sighs) Correct! I thought of it at the same time. Uh, Please continue. Please continue that review. Um, The kids are all complaining, and here's my favorite line... Not a single McDonald's in sight. It was almost frightening. Overall, Actually, there's t- a McDonald's pretty close by the <laughs> one of the entrances. On the entrance. Maybe they were yeah. coming from 29 Palms. She wanted a McDonald's in sight from the park, you guys. So. In the park, maybe. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, they have all those beautiful picnic tables. You got to have your McD. That's true. Oh, wow. David, you want Look at again. that. Snaked it. Snaked it. Uh, it was the heat. And I will okay. tell you, the first David time. David Gray's there, too. First time I went to Joshua Tree National Park to camp, it was the first day, I think it was the first day of summer, and Ooh. we're like, okay, we're still in the safety zone, and we were not. It was so friggin' hot. Oh, geez. Um, and I have only since sort of acclimated to the idea of camping, as um, anyone who follows my adventures knows. <laughs> yeah, you're and an so indoor kitty. While while my my person was um, building the tent, I was in the car with the air conditioning on because <laughs> oh, I'm I'm yeah. that jerk. I'm that David. jerk. David, I know. Was this was like, you, David? Did you write this review? Were you mad about it being so hot and there being no McDonald's? I, I was mad about it being so hot. David loves his McDonald's. It was, it was a great experience, though. I mean, I I couldn't recommend I, five yeah. stars. Joshua Tree National Park is five no, it's stars. beautiful. Come on, it's beautiful. Five. It is sure. beautiful. I went in yeah. February after it rained for a day, and it was yeah, absolutely magic. I saw a double rainbow. Come that's on. the way. That's the way. Do go not after go it rains. there. And do not camp in the summer there, though. No. Even though the spots are abundant. Yeah, and David, I owe you a six-piece chicken McNugget. You, no, you, I want it in, maybe in cocktail form. Ew. <laughs> Whatever the cocktail equivalent of that would I'm be. I'm sure we no can make No one some... wants that. <laughs> All right, I owe you a cocktail, David, or I owe you a beer when we when we go clean up at Trivia Night at Huddle again. Yes. Sure. Yeah. yeah. By clean up, we mean, you know, coming forth. But <laughs> We came in second place, Sonia. We were at one Tied point. Tied for second. It tied we for a second with um, one other team. We did with we, we, two yeah, other we, teams. We dropped. We dropped one in the ratings because of the tie break. Okay, yes. Sonia, you're here to support us. I know, I know, I know. Not be the naysayer. Is she, we came in second place. That is a fact. At we, one point, we tied, yes, we I got it. But I got to be the fact checker too here. You know. Okay, oh, so boy. I have a question for y'all. Have you ever had a one star experience in nature? Um. I mean, I've almost died in nature a couple times. What? <laughs> it wasn't entirely nature's fault. I think that the, but let's not, not nature's it's fault. Rarely like, I'm just nature's fault. Crazy. Right. I'm incredibly clumsy. Once, just a year ago, I was camping at Mount Charleston and it was dark and I tripped and I um, dislocated my shoulder. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. What? It's been a journey. But I don't blame nature for those get, like, two things. Did you have to get medivaced off the mountain? No, I drove myself back down. <gasps> it was, was my it arm. What? Yeah, I mean, it kind of. All right, so it, now we're getting to specifics. It wasn't a full dislocation. It 
pop back into place <gasps> on site. The only thing I can say that is to, is it's not nature's fault, but the campsites at Mount Charleston have like a little parking berm, the drive up ones. Oh, and yeah. it's a it's black asphalt and the you know, the parking space is, space is black asphalt. So I was going to put something in my car and I tripped over the little parking berm. Like oh. total, oh. not even like a stumble, like airborne. All right, here's the worst part. I was, the thing I was putting back into my car was my hatchet. Oh. So... <laughs> also, I, I love that you have ask. a hatchet, but... Yeah. It could have been way, way, way... And I never found that hatchet. If there are any unsolved murders in that area, I <laughs> want law enforcement Where to would, focus in David, on a specific I know suspect. that you're an indoor kitty, but you like chop wood to make a fire but I when know i tripped works. i flung that thing so <gasps> far away from me i never saw it again it is still up there wow. somewhere if anyone finds a hatchet embedded in the ranger who re- who is about to give <laughs> a poor camper some water oh. and right. that camper never got his water yep. yeah yep what about you david any one-star experiences in nature Surprisingly, and as much as uh, I truly enjoy nature from the safety and convenience of the inside of my automobile, um, my outdoor experiences have almost universally been stellar. The only one star I would ever give, I think, uh, is to Special Events Beach over at Lake Mead. Uh, mm. It's the one of the only couple of dog-friendly beaches down at Lake Mead, and we wanted to take our dog Spark out for a little bit of run. and. I mean, I knew, generally speaking, the beaches at Lake Mead are shit, um, but it was, you know, the water was low, so it was even yeah. worse, mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was rocky, and we got um, cuts on our feet, and the dog had a miserable time, oh, and it just everything about it was just, like, so low rent. It's like, why make this even to a dog beach? You know what I was looking for in the Yelp reviews? I was looking for someone with a one-star review of Lake Mead that said, like, no water, found a body <laughs> in a <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the best. Up. Like, please. Tried to I, fish, got a mobster. Yeah. I yeah. almost wrote that just to throw you all off or make you laugh. No, but, that's too yeah. easy. Too easy. I know. That would have been way too easy. So, alas. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me in this um, excellent game of one star reviews. Uh, David, I think you're our crowning champion Ugh. so far. Sarah. Tr- try not to be a sore loser. <laughs> and I'll try not to be a uh, sore winner. <laughs> That is a thing. <laughs> back to back, baby. All right. Well, um, I, will, I will enjoy getting a drink with you. So that is all worth yeah. it. And I am looking forward to the next round of whatever one star reviews we do. What's it going to be, Sonia? You got oh any my ideas? God, I need to study. I, I need some geology yet. lessons before I come back. People should send in their ideas of which what category for one stars. Yeah. Yeah. If, they, yeah, if you all have good ideas, please send them in because these are really fun. Well, thank you all. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Yeah, that was fun. Bye, everybody. Bye. That's all for today here on CityCast Las Vegas. If you enjoyed the show, why not tell a friend? Tell three friends. Tell five friends. Rate the show, leave us a review, and subscribe to our brilliant morning newsletter. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more news from around the city. Take care. That review gets one star. Thank you. One star, one star review. Yeah. Mm -hmm.